or let a totals. During the usual slow days at the hotel, Hoskera was busy drinking swigs of brandy she smuggled under the desk until Angie came and whistled towards her direction, causing her to freeze up and cringe. Whenever Angie comes around her, she would constantly make either highly lewd comments, trying to get some lady climb, or being plain persistent. There was times where she would even use many gifts to convince her to go out for dinner. Well, Skira knew Angie would want to have a good time with her. That good time usually code word for sex. She's not in the mood for having sex with a bush lesbian porn star who always brags about her high libido to everyone. Hoskera was slowly walking down the creaky stairs for something to drink to take her mind out of how annoying Angie was. Well, she got uh, down to the, to the dusty cellar where all the alcohol was kept. She searches for her favorite poisonous beverage she all uses for comfort. The search was supposed to be a quick, right? The search became longer and more daunting than being at the cluttered desk for eight hours a day with barely anything happening, except watching Angie boast about getting more lady climbed and fag. That recruit despite himself being gay. Then the final box she looked into was empty, more empty than her own libido. There was only a cruelly written and questionably stained note saying, You're fuck now, lol. She was enraged, filled with anger no demon can go near. She kicked the fucking shit out of the wooden box that broke into a pile of spiky splinters. She then plans on going to her room and sweep it off, wanting no bullshit from anybody. Now she wears the wrinkly face of disappointment. She bumps into Angie. Holy shit. How scared began causing her high. Oh, how she couldn't find anything to drink downstairs. Angie appeases her anger by explaining she has the drinks in her room, but she'll have to loosen up before she can get them. Ascara agrees with a grunt. Time to get steamy. Ascara went along with Angie's deal and giving her cheap booze if she relaxes. They both step inside the room. It has the familiar scent of male body spray lingering throughout the man cave Angie calls home. Angie has other risque ideas of helping Hasker relax and took great advantage of this unmissable opportunity. Angie directed her to wear fluffy handcuffs and slide on a blindfold for a massage. Ascara sluggishly agrees since she's too tired to think twice about what is to happen during her deep sleeping stage. She slowly did what Angie told her to do, while Angie licked and smacked her lips like a wolf, ready to pounce on his delightful meal for the cold night under the moonlight. Ascara lay down flat on the soft sheets and took a deep breath for that massage. Angie had promised her. It was a different one she never experienced, she never expected. Angie ran her hands across Oscar's fl fluffy little jugs and leisurely pace to find her most sensitive spot and exploit the fuck out of it. Angie did it for a minute and moved on to the lady climb she eagerly wanted to play and eat out. She walks her fingers to the lady climb, starting to make little circles on the tip of the clit. She can hear her, her scared moans escape her mouth. Angie then silences the noise of a bull gag. 
she increased the pace to make her more and more wet by the second, causing a lady to squirm and move. Angie got bored and started to bend over to have an eat-in session. Angie opened her drooling mouth and looked inside the vagina with a fury passion. She continued to eat out with a sticky stream of female love juice squirted out in her mouth. She drinks the juices and lapped up the lady climbed to claim. The mornings for Huskara are usually hard to wake up, but this time she woke up fast from something else. Huskara felt wetness in her privates and got really pissed. Started to push her way into the lobby to find Angie to give her a lesson to learn from. By the time she found Angie eating her breakfast sandwich along with her coffee, she brandished a stool and smashed it across Angie's head. Angie was down on the ground and cussed in pain from the impact. Why the fuck you do that for, you crazy Irish bitch? She shouted. You had it fucking coming, you perverted Italian motherfucker. Hoskera screamed. Damn, Angie. What the fuck happened to you? Did the sharp pussy cat kick your ass, cabron? Vag smirked with a wink. Fuck off as Angie still reads in pain. Oscar had to ran to Angie's room, snatching every last bottle of wine and cheap booze from the mini fridge. Adios.